Hey everyone, this is Jessica Warren of Into the Warren and I am back with another video and it has been a quite some time since I've filmed anything for my YouTube channel. So um, earlier this week I started getting a lot of messages and subscribers and people were saying, hey, we're coming from Cinnamon Stitches channel and I obviously know who Cinnamon Stitches is. She's a very sweet lady named Jennifer who I, when we were in quarantine especially, um, I would watch all of her videos um, because I had a little bit more time on my hands than I do now. But um, she is a, she has a very kind heart and I was like kind of confused. <laughs> so I went to her channel and watched her video about um, wanting to give me one of the Hirschner's boxes. And I was just like very flattered and couldn't believe that she thought of me, especially since I haven't been around much lately. Um, so I was really excited. And because of her, I think in the past week, I've gained over 300 new subscribers, which now I'm over 500, which is not a lot, but it's a lot to me because I never thought I'd have that many. Um, because like Jennifer said, I just film YouTube videos for fun. I don't get paid in any way. Um, and I posted lots of videos in the past, but my channel never really does much growing. So um, yeah, it was just really surprising. So thank you to everyone who came over to visit my channel, watch some of my older videos, left me really nice comments and support, and it was really exciting to see. Also, I've gotten some yarn orders and some people bought some project bags, and I know that I got those because of Jennifer. So Jennifer, thank you so much for thinking of me, um, giving me such a nice gift that I can share with my students, and um, thank you for talking about my channel and bringing some of your subscribers over to my little place on the internet. So um, when the Hirschner's box comes, I will be sure to open it uh, in a video so that you can see what's inside because I am eager to look and see, and I'm sure a lot of you are interested in what could be inside. I mean, I know the basic crafts that are in there, but I don't know what they look like or anything like that. So I think it'll be really fun to do a video unboxing of that. So once that comes in, I will do a video on that. And let me talk about some updates. So I am at school. We were the last school to have any cases in our county. We had two cases, they were siblings, but they actually knew they had coronavirus before the symptoms started, their family member had it. So they stayed home like right away. And luckily because of that, our uh, there was no one that needed to be quarantined other than those two students. So we got very lucky that it didn't um, expose anybody else and everybody is okay. And my daughter's daycare closed for a week because a couple of the adults in the office had um, gotten sick and all of them are okay. So we just closed for, they closed for a week and I stayed home with my daughter. Luckily as a teacher, we have uh, two weeks of emergency leave for this pandemic. So I just stayed home with uh, her for the week and everybody got better and everything's okay. And also luckily no little children got it either. Um, so everything's been fine and it's been a, Busy year, it's actually been a fun year. Um, some students are still online, so I do virtual teaching and face-to-face. -face. And I um, I got voted as Rookie Teacher of the Year for my school, which was really surprising. And I was very grateful because the teachers vote on that. So I have um, to answer some questions and I'm in the running to be Rookie Teacher of the Year for the county. So fingers crossed, that would be really cool to um, to receive that, but even just in my school, I'm very proud. Um, I've been doing a lot of art projects with my kids. We did some fundraisers and we funded enough money to get easels, uh, new paintbrushes, new palettes. We've had um, 
a local business donate money to us and we're gonna build a little free library for our school. Um, yeah, so we've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been very, very focused on uh, teaching and getting, I had to get observed by my principal, which went really well. So that's why I'm not on YouTube that much, but I will try to make more of an effort. So let's talk about what's been going on. I haven't dyed a lot and I uh, yarn and I have not knit a lot, but I have done a little bit. One yarn dye that I've done recently is this one. This is, oh, also you're propped up on a chair because I can't find my tripod, which is um, not surprising. Um, anyway, so these are, um, this colorway is called Vincent's Stars and it is inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. This is 100% superwash merino in uh, double knit DK weight three. These are in my shop and of course they'll have labels on them and stuff when they ship out, but these are available. And I have more than two, I just grabbed two to show you. So I have those. And then as far as knitting, I really only worked on one project. And I used this yarn that I mentioned in an old video, the Fiber Company Luma. And it is a DK weight yarn and it is uh, cotton, linen, merino, and silk. And yeah, so I have, these are 50 grams, so they're smaller than the norm, but so gorgeous. This is the Violetta colorway, it's like a purple. And so I thought, I wanted something special for this yarn and I decided to make the Fireflies Jumper. And the Fireflies Jumper is a paid pattern on Ravelry. And it's pretty straightforward. I don't think it's a challenging sweater. I think it's okay for kind of like a intermediate beginner who would wants to attempt sweaters because it's top down. So it's not in pieces or anything. And the um, lace part of the yoke is not that complicated. So I think it's possible that a newer knitter could do it. I have about seven rows of ribbing to go on the body and the body is done. And then all I have are the sleeves. The, it's a t-shirt style sweater, so it's short sleeve. So the sleeves shouldn't take that long at all. But, um, and just imagine this block so you can see the lace a lot better, but here is the sweater so far. So as you can see, just have a few more rows of ribbing that will match this ribbing up here. Um, and the yoke is very pretty. I really like it. Um, yeah, so it's just got these like V shapes. They're supposed to look like wings of a firefly, I guess. I don't know. But I love how it's turning out. I love how soft it is. And I can't wait to wear it. I've been taking my time just because I'm trying not to knit when I'm too tired because I tend to make a lot of mistakes and I don't want to ruin all the work that I've done. And also it's like 80 degrees outside and I really can't wear it right now anyway. So it is a work in progress and that's really what I've been working on. Other than that, my goal has been to read more books. I have stumbled across the book talk or the book side of TikTok and started learning of good recommendations for books to read. And instead of being on my phone at nighttime, which is really bad for you um, because it messes with your sleeping. Sorry, I have a new member of my family that I'll show you in a minute too. He wants pets. Um, but anyway, um, I'm trying to read books at night instead of being on my phone. And the first book um, that I've been focusing on is a book called A Court of Thorns and Roses. And this is what it looks like as part of a series by Sarah uh, Moss. And it is a more modern and more adult Beauty and the Beast kind of. But also it's got like fairy lore in it. So it's fantasy, but it's romance. And it's also like, I don't know, it's, put it this way, I've like read it in, th like I'm almost done. I just got it like two days ago. 
it's addicting to read. I don't know why it's so addicting to read, but it is. So um, I do recommend it if you like that fantasy genre and you also like a little bit of that romance mixed in. I just went to Books A Million today and got the second part of the series and I'm eager to read that. But yeah, definitely not for people under 18, I would say. There's some, there's some sexy parts to it. So, um, but yeah, it is a really good book. So I've been reading that. And outside of that, I was gonna show you, this is the new member of my family. I'm just gonna show you real quick cause he does not like to be picked up. Most bunnies don't, um, but that's Ginsburg and he is mad at me now for picking him up. Sorry, Ginsburg. Um, he is adopted from um, a lady whose daughter was allergic to rabbits and we thought he was a girl at first, uh, but found out at the vet he's a boy. So we named him Ginsburg and he's been fixed. He just got neutered last Tuesday and he's a little mad at me for that, but um, it's actually better for them to be neutered. It reduces the risk of cancers, spraying pee everywhere and being just outright hormonal. So he is a little annoyed with me right now, but he's he's getting over it slowly. I still have to give him antibiotics and stuff, which he's not a fan of. But um, he's free roam in the kitchen. He's got everything a bunny could ever ask for and um, spoiled rotten. And he's a really good bunny. He hasn't really been chewing on anything or going crazy or anything. Litter trained, um, really good boy. And I just let him run around the kitchen all day. Um, and he seems to just be a happy boy. So um, he's our, he just doesn't like to be picked up. He likes to be pet. He likes kisses. He likes snuggles. He just doesn't like to be picked up, which is very common. So anyway, that's really all the updates I have. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway soon, but let me formulate it in my mind. Um, and then I will come back with the giveaway. So thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you soon. Bye.